like spinning plates. cool tune and what really excites me about this song is it reminds me of Christopher Nolan's Tenet you know that film of course about um, uh, going back in time I mean a lot of the film being shot backwards and all that oh man that just made me realize Radiohead and Christopher Nolan (laughs) match made in heaven man that would have been amazing oh wow but as it was I mean the, the the soundtrack was very cool there was some very good soundtrack music on that film but now that i've heard this song i'm like oh this would have been perfect christopher nolan i hope you're a radiohead fan because maybe invite them to do soundtracks for your future films because that's a match made in heaven what do you guys think i think i just think uh radiohead would be great for doing soundtracks for stuff like that okay so uh now we're on to the very final track
surprising wrap up to the album kind of a dixieland jazz feel there i guess and uh, again kind of somber melancholy a bit so overall i was thinking um when they released this album uh i'm a, i'm going to think that the record company would probably w would have wanted maybe one or two more sort of single type songs you know songs that would uh be more i don't know just more poppy in the sense that Radiohead is poppy and uh, that's that would have made this a really perfect album for me um, so on first listen I think it's just a little thin on the stronger material uh, overall it's it's a fan fascinating album and I think that uh, I don't know if it would have been I mean they did do Kid A and Amnesiac together, didn't they? They released it together. I think they actually sound great together. I think it would be a nice uh, contrast um, as a dual album, as a double album. This sounds like a little more diverse of an album, a little more experimental. Leave me a comment below what your rankings are of all the Radiohead albums that you uh, have in your collection. And let's discuss that down below. I'd like to see what your uh, what you, how you pin a Kid A as compared to Amnesiac, as compared to OK Computer, uh, and any other uh, kid, uh, any other Radiohead albums that you have. I'd like to know what your rankings are as far as your personal favorite. And I will do more Radiohead reactions to whole albums. I'm absolutely going to do that. I'll probably end up doing uh, almost every album they have. I wouldn't be surprised because to me Radiohead are really an important uh, band they're very essential band and as a progressive rock fan uh, to me it's adjacent to progressive rock 
Anyways, this is a fascinating band. What can you say? Radiohead are really a fascinating band, really interesting, diverse catalog. I look forward to more album reactions, and so does Prog Dog, of course. He's, he's perking up his ears. Sharky, um, you know, it's giving him something to chew on. It's got substance. He likes it, keeps moving, keeps moving forward. That's what I think Sharky stands for as far as Prog Dog Channel. They, they keep swimming forward, right? That's what the fish do. They don't just uh, sit and sink. Uh, or go stationary and sink. <laughs> and Prog Dog, what does he stand for? I don't know. He's just cool. Prog Dog is cool. Prog Rock is cool. And adjacent music. Spiraling out. It's neat. Talk to you later. Bye now.